Hey yo, and welcome to Gallum's Corner. Welcome to a very special video. I have booked and I'm about to take you on the internet's cheapest cruise. Yeah, I'm so excited. I have always wanted to go cruising. Uh, ever since I was a young boy and I read The uh, the Ship of Adventure by Ina Blyton, which casual racism aside was just a wonderful book. It ignited a fire inside me. I used to sit on the, the stony shores of cows just watching the giant cruise ships sailing away. You know, just a fluffy haired, chubby little boy just wishing I could be on one of those ships. Um, but I always thought it was going to be beyond me. You know what I mean? Cruising's for posh people. It's expensive. Um, I didn't think it would ever be a possibility. But I kept my BDI open because sometimes there are deals out there. I've seen ones for a couple of nights, you know, northern cities going over to Germany or something for like 250 quid. But even that, I thought, you know, 250 quid for two nights, it's more than 100 quid a night. It's hard to justify. But recently... I saw this deal. It was less than £500 for 12, 12 nights Mediterranean cruise. It was P&O Ventura, right? So I inquired about it. Even with the single supplement, um, it's cost me £552. And that's for a cabin with an obstructed view. Um, so I can see. Uh, how can that be real? That's £46 a night. All you can eat. All food included for less than you'd pay to, to stay in a premier inn. Like, it's awakened a desire in me to investigate that. Like, how is that even feasible? How are they doing that? So I booked it and we're going to go on it. I'm so excited. It's going to fulfill a lifelong dream and it's one of the most reasonable things I've ever seen. Right, I set sail in a couple of hours. As I say, it's p and Ventura I'm going on. It's a Mediterranean cruise going like past Gibraltar, up Spain and stuff. I literally cannot wait. Let's get moving. Right, I'm here. I'm in Cowles. I'm at the Red Jet Terminal. Um, I am quite early. I did tend to turn up quite early for stuff. I um, get quite anxious when I'm travelling. I like to be there on time. I get quite anxious at the best of times, to be fair. And even more so today, when I was in a taxi on the way over here, I um, tried to log into my, my p and booking thing. Something that I've done so kind of seven, eight times a day ever since I booked it. Just to check off on it, you know, excitement and stuff. Uh, and it wouldn't let me log in. It said booking not recognised. That has never happened. I'm assuming it's just because it's the day of embarkation and stuff. But, yeah, you know, it, it has got me even more nervous. Like I say, I, I do get a bit anxious at the best of times. I could be, you know, there's just so much going on in my mind. I'll be looking around and, oh, that bloke's got a moustache. You know, no assumptions, but I'm going to keep my BDI on him just in case there are children around. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a feet properly placed to stave the attackers off, self-defence and stuff. There's always something going on in my mind. Quite often my anus is going like that. And then you add in a bit of travel anxiety and it's um, like the wings of a hummingbird. Anyway, I'm going to get inside and warm up, get a frothy coffee and uh, hopefully it won't be too long. Right, I am here, Ocean Terminal. Um, I just printed off a light bulb for me from the suitcase um, and they've taken it away. I've literally been here five minutes and it's already all done. That's so much easier when you're flying, getting your bloody suitcase and through the light bulbs and it just takes ages, doesn't it? That was literally five minutes. Great start. Right, let's go on in and get properly checked in, I guess. Hopefully I'll be on soon. Okay, we found the queues. This feels a bit more familiar for a holiday now. How long it will take, whether it will be as slow as an airport, but yeah, definitely more familiar. This is so much quicker than flying. That took 10 minutes start to finish, and now I'm going through security. Amazing. Right, security is done. It's taken me 19 minutes since I walked into this building to do all of that. That is like, it's bloody Speedy Gonzales, isn't it, compared to flying? And just through there, is the, um, like the passageway. I don't know what it's called. There's probably some technical term for it, but yeah, I'm about to enter the passageway to enter the ship. Right, I'm on board and I've just visited my, um, my Mosca station. Um, don't really know what to do with myself now. I think I'm going to go find my cabin, I guess. See if my suitcase is turned up. It all looks amazing now. Right, I think I found my cabin. That should be my, um, my key camera, I guess, in there. Yeah, it's not open at the moment. Hold up. Oh my god, I mean, oh my god, it's well nice. Look at that, two separate sections. Look at that, that's a built in wardrobe there. 
Yes, I'll step out. Oh, look, stick that up there. Let's see the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, cute little bathroom. So I'm giving you a live room tour as I go. I'm so excited. Oh, wow. Oh, that's my obstructed view. Yeah, I forgot to say, actually, for my cruise fare, I could have got it about 20 quid cheaper if I went for a, a window-less cabin. Um, but it was already so cheap, I thought, you know what? I'm going to have a little window. See out of there. That's nice. Ah, that's what they were talking about, the Boston station. That's your little information. I'll sit down and watch that in a minute. Look at that kettle. Kettle. Oh, my God. Tea. Coffee. Biscuits. That's amazing. What's this little cupboard? It's a fridge. It's a bloody fridge. There's nothing in it, but I could get something to go in it. A desk. That's nice, isn't it? That's where I set the laptop up. There I am. Hey, up. Oh, man, I'm so excited by this lovely bed. Lovely bed. I'm going to take my coat off and we do a bed test. Do a, uh, a softness test, comfiness test. Right, um, let's just pop it down in the seat for now. That's nice as well. A couple of different seats. You could sit here and be like, let me turn you around. That's like, so I could sit here, take the hat off, don't need it, it's warm. I could sit here and be like, oh, yeah, nice window, view at sea. Um, also, could be sitting at the desk and be like, yeah, working away, processing some data. I know it's data, but I like to say data for some reason. Um, and let's do this. Let's test a bit. Test the bloody bit. Right, you ready? Ooh. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I can't believe I've got this old cabin. It's way bigger than I thought it would be. Bloody wardrobe is massive. This is amazing. Forty for well, less than forty-five quid a night. What a bloody bonus! Oh, I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do with myself. I guess I should get out there and explore, see what's on the ship and stuff. I've got a small idea. I've been doing Googling and stuff. I know the swimming pools and stuff and restaurants, but I don't know exactly what. So, um, yeah, I guess I guess we're going to have a look. This is amazing. Hi, I'm having a walk around, a little explore, and I found the promenade deck. Um, I am almost at the front of the ship, and there is a small part of me that wants to go up there and do the whole um, I'm the king of the world thing. I'm going to restrain myself now. Oh, I've had a lovely walk around. Um, everyone's so smiley and happy. They're all like, good afternoon, like proper friendly. Can't believe how like stress-free this is compared to flying. I, you see it now? I'm just here. Yeah, we're going to travel places, but this is my hotel. Like, that's it for travelling. It's just an amazing feeling. Right, I'm kind of done with the promenade deck now. Let's go and have a look and see what we can find on the other floors. Oh my god, look what I just found. It's got a roof on it. We have to use this. Doesn't matter that it's cold. There's gonna be swimming. Swimming! Our original schedule calls for two days at sea crossing the Bay of Biscay towards our first port, Vigo. If we were to stick to this plan, we would find ourselves spending 24 hours in very rough seas with high winds not something we want to do. So exactly. The decision has been made then to make all possible speed towards Vigo to get ahead of the approaching weather. Oh. If we are Makes successful, sense. we should be arriving in Vigo one day earlier than scheduled and spending the nice. night there away from the rough seas in a lovely sheltered harbour. I think this is a very positive result, allowing extra time in port oh, okay. and certainly a more comfortable start to your holiday. When we leave tonight, then, we will set our maximum speed. Conditions should be good up until noon tomorrow when we can expect wind and seas to build. We're moving very slowly, but we're definitely moving now. Right, that was a very pleasant few hours exploring. Um, I don't even feel like I've touched the sides yet either. Barely scratched the surface. Um, I've left the promenade deck now and I'm back in my cabin. Um, I just really needed a wee. Um, but it's nice to be back here as well now we're moving. I wanted to see what it was like. I was kind of expecting it to be rocking back and forwards or for the very least, at the very least for it to be kind of like shuddering or something, you know, like ships do when they're going, but there's nothing. You wouldn't even know where we're moving. It's, um, it's steady bloody eddy. 
I, I don't want to spend too much time in here. I want to get back out there, do some more exploring, and also find some food. I'm getting very hungry now, and that's, yeah, that's one of the things I'm looking forward to most is eating. So, yeah, let's go do it. All right, you see those lights over there? That, well, that is the Isle of Wight. That's where I live. See you later, mate. See you in a couple of weeks. All right, I am back in my cabin. Um, I just needed a couple of moments to myself, to be honest with you. A couple of quiet minutes reflection to process what's just happened. So, um, been out exploring the ship and stuff, looking outside, waving goodbye to the Isle of Wight, um, getting really, really hungry. So, I went and found the buffet. Um, it was proper, proper busy, super hectic, so I couldn't film there. I will go back tomorrow morning, when hopefully it'll be a bit quieter and film it all for you so you can see it and stuff. But, um, yeah, found the buffet, this poolside buffet place. Went in and this bloke gave me some um, hand sanitizer and stuff, which was nice. And I tried to give him a, my cruise card so he knew it was me and stuff. He's like, oh, I don't need that, mate. But I'm questioning him, like, how does this work? How will you know that I've been, like, only been the full like three times and stuff like that i'm not eating more and stuff like, it don't matter you can come back as many times as you want oh my god i've been all inclusive once before when i was in morocco but that was set down in times you had breakfast you had lunch you had dinner there is literally nothing to stop me eating like eight times a day this is amazing it's gonna be incredible and the food was brilliant i have this lovely fluffy mashed potato hunter's chicken this chinese beef stuff and just to know that i can eat as much of it as i want anytime i want oh it was almost like a religious experience just absolutely brilliant all right i'm um i'm gonna let my excitement you know, just calm myself down a little bit and then I'm going to get back out there. I'm going to go get myself an alcoholic beverage, what one of those, and then I'm going to have a little look around and see what the entertainment and stuff is like. But yeah, I am loving it so far. Hey, oh, right, I am back in the cabin now and um, changing to my comfy clothes, just getting ready to turn in for the night. But I thought I'd do you one last little update because it's been, um, oh, it's been an amazing first day. I've enjoyed this evening so much wandering around exploring the ship i've had a couple of drinks jd and cokes um even even managed to find the arsenal game in this like pop they've got on here so i went and watched the arsenal luton game it's just cracking can't speak highly enough of it um and and i've noticed i think i showed you my hands this vlog but um they were going a bit kind of skinny flaky um, basically, I've got a, I've replaced my e-scooter very recently, and it's played havoc with my hands. I really do tend to grip the handles quite firmly. Big believer in the old grip it and rip it, you know what I mean? Just go for it. Um, but it's been so wet and rainy recently. My hands have been pruny, and then with the roughness of the handles, it made them go all flaky. But they seem to have healed in the short space that I've been here. I don't know whether that's feasible or realistic or what, but I promise you, they were dead kind of skinny and flaky earlier and they've healed nature's healing it's like covid again all right i'm gonna turn in i'm gonna go to sleep i'm gonna set an early alarm so i can get up super early hopefully before everyone else is up and i can show you around a bit more while it's quiet take you into the buffet and stuff buffet breakfast yeah i'm just so excited it's amazing all right i'll see you in the morning Good morning to you. Right, due to popular request, well, there were two comments asking for it. Um, I am going to do for you a fit check. Um, so here you go. This is me, early morning. Um, orange hoodie, it's night. It's very comfortable. Black jeans, um, they're by Levi. Uh, and then to top it all off, let's go for the live view. Uh, the Old Faithful, that's where it all started for me, possibly my favourite show of all time. Yeah, I wouldn't say I've dressed up nice, but I'm wearing stuff that I like and that um, I'm going to very much enjoy breakfast in. Right, let's do it. Right, let's do this, let's go get some breakfast. Um, I just realised it's not quite as early as I wanted. I wanted to wake up about half six, um, but clocks have changed, haven't they? Because we're near Europe now. Um, so I've woken up at like half seven, which is later than I like, but never mind. Um, ah, it's starting to get a tiny bit rocky. I did notice that when I woke up, well, a couple of times in the night, I woke up to a little. Um, I do have a tiny bit of very low level nausea. Um, so I might get some travel sickness pills in like what the captain announced yesterday about the storms in the Bay of Biscay. Um, also would like to get some tweezers. You can see that, my eyebrows. 
they've gone off the hook, they've grown mentally, and they always do that when I go on holiday. I don't know whether it's because normally I've got too much going on and working hard and stuff, too many thoughts, so they just, you know, give it a break, and then when I'm away and relaxed, they just go for it. It makes sense, I had this girlfriend who always plucked her eyebrows, and she was stupid. Um, maybe that's the reason why. Anyway, let's go and find this buffet. Let's go and have some breakfast. Uh, shall I take the lift? No, I'm gonna walk it. You think it's a long way, and you go up a couple of floors, and you're like, oh God, it is a long way, but then you're like, oh, there's no floor 13, because it's superstition, and you're almost there, so, yeah, it's all right, we'll manage. I love this little bit, it reminds me of the Titanic. Well, it don't look rough, does it? Just occasionally it feels a bit woo. Probably just getting my sea legs a little bit. Right, buffet. Oh my God, the breakfast buffet. All the different kinds of eggs, bacons, beans, fruits, meats, cheeses. Right, I'm back in my cabin now. A hearty breakfast has been consumed. It was, um, it was incredible. It was almost overwhelming. It's like, it's, it's almost too much beauty in the world when you're there at a buffet like that. It's like, oh, here's limitless bacon. Oh, limitless sausages, two different kinds. Eggs, three different kinds. You want some fried toast? Have some of that. Fancy normal toast? You can have that. Want some fried potatoes? Have that. You know, limitless fruit juice, limitless coffee. I mean, my back teeth are basically floating at this point. It was absolutely incredible. Um, I did speak to a guy at breakfast, actually, and um, the time hasn't changed. We're not in the European time zone. I've just slept an extra hour, which is incredible, isn't it? I never sleep that late. I think it speaks well. For the comfiness of the beds and the whole experience that I've managed to sleep almost an extra hour this morning. It's crazy. Anyway, it is a sea day today, so I am at leisure. Um, the boat seems much, much quieter today. Maybe it's because it's morning time. Um, but yes, last night, yesterday was quite hectic. Everyone was buzzing around. Oh, what's this? Looking. I want to try this. I want to try that. It seems a lot more leisurely out there today. So I'm going to spend today at leisure at sea. Uh, I'm going to waft around, I'll film obviously, show you around because it's nice and quiet. I might jump in a hot tub, uh, possibly get an old beer arena. Um, yeah, it should be an awesome day. So I just had a look on Google Maps Live and we are definitely in the Bay of Biscay now. It's not too choppy, not too rough. Um, but I am going to try and get some travel sickness built just in case it does get worse later. Like the captain said, don't want to be being sick all the time. It's nice out here though, isn't it? Lovely way to, to start the day, a bit of deck time. I said deck, not dick. There's some kind of dance class going on down here. I'm not going to join in now, but I might do one day. This was the ship's general store, where they sold possibly the most overpriced items I'd ever come across. And this was the ship's theatre, where a whole variety of talented performers were on every evening. Alright, all this walking around the ship is starting to make me a bit hungry. Um, I am going to pop into the burger place and grab myself a cheeseburger. May as well try it. Here you go. Right. So I've got myself a cheeseburger and some chips. Let's give you the old taste test. I don't need that in it. Um, no, still don't need that in it. Don't want the salad. Just looking for a burger. Right. I'll allow the lettuce and I'll allow the onion. The onion. I'm actually quite keen on mine. Right. Hey up and welcome to the burger battles at sea. That is lovely. Wow. So overwhelming. The thought that I've got as many of these as I want. I could just eat burgers all day long. And the chips as well, like. It's almost symbolic. This chip is everything. It's a bloody good chip. And it's a limitless supply for the next 11 days. Wow. Hey, oh, right, I'm in my cabin and um, a bit of a weird one. I have I've just woken up. Um, I fell asleep, had a little snooze. Now, that wasn't planned. It was entirely organic. Um, I popped back to my room earlier because I wanted to stick my swimming trunks on underneath my trousers, thinking about jumping in a hot tub at some point. Um, and my, my phone needed a bit of charging, a bit of juice in it. I've been out filming and stuff. It's ripped through the charge. So I thought, you know what? Plug it in and just chill out on the bed for 10 minutes. You know, just let it get some juice in it and I'll be off again. Um, an hour later, I've just woken up from a snooze. 
Um, I've woken up hungry as well. I don't know whether it is to sleep or maybe it's just because I had a lighter lunch or something to just a cheeseburger and chips, but I've woken up with a hunger. Um, so I'm going to do something. It's just gone three o'clock and I remember hearing, reading somewhere in the literature that they do like afternoon tea from like three to four o'clock in the restaurants and the buffet and stuff. So I'm going to go check that out. I really fancy a little cake and a cup of tea. Um, also got my swimming trunks on underneath my trousers. So, um, after afternoon tea, if I see a hot tub or something that's free, I'm going to get in it. All right, let's get moving. There you go. Couple of cakes and a cup of tea. I feel like that should be like national law or something at three o'clock. It's the perfect way to see in the afternoon. Kind of warm your stomach up before dinner. Lovely. So that's a chocolate orange one. Not quite sure what that is, but I think maybe it's sticky toffee or something. Toffee flavoured. And that is, um, it's a Victoria sponge, but kind of different, I guess, like reimagined. Yeah, very excited. Right, let's give it a taste test. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. Mmm. That's really good. Fresh cream. Um, really good sponge cake as well. I, I am back in my cabin now, post-afternoon tea. Um, that was delightful. Absolutely lovely. I've, I've become a firm believer now that we need to make that a national institution back in England. Do you know what I mean? Just three o'clock rolls round, stop what you're doing, have a few little bits of cake. It's lovely, it's delightful, it just sees you right through. Um, didn't get in the hot tubs, they were really busy. They seemed to be like full of couples and stuff. Um, I just felt a little bit awkward, you know, walking in on my own and stuff. Like, stop your conversations, watch out, move over, Callum's coming in. Yeah, I'll wait till they're a bit quieter, I think. Maybe tomorrow morning, early tomorrow morning. I think they'll be quite quiet then, won't they? And it would just be a lovely way to start the day, I reckon, wouldn't it? Early morning, hot tub out on the deck and stuff. Yeah, nice. Anyway, yeah, in the end, I just went um, I went and found Costa, got myself a frothy coffee. And um, first bomb note from P&O, actually, I will talk about it. Uh, this is the bomb note. Went and asked for a takeaway one because I wanted to go out on the deck and walk around with my frothy coffee. Um... They don't give you takeaway cups. They don't stock the cardboard for environmental reasons. So I had to go and purchase this. I don't know whether you can see the price on the bottom of that. It's probably backwards. £16.50. pence. I absolutely detest that. I hate being forced to, to spend money for environmental stuff when they're recyclable anyway, the cardboard cups. Don't force people into it, you know. Really gets on my nerves, that does. Yeah, 16 quid, so I'm going to be saving this. I'm going to use it every single day, divide it between 11. At least it's only one pound something a day then, and I'll um, I'll take it home with me as well. But yeah, frothy coffee is nice, but I don't know whether it's 16 quid nice. Anyway, I am I'm going to chill out for a little bit, I think, and um, then I'm going to have a shower and get changed, uh, go for dinner. I am finding, actually, something I want to talk about. Everyone is dressed quite formally here. Um, I'm not, obviously, I'm just wearing my hoodie, got my trainers on and stuff, and um, I do feel a little bit underdressed, a little bit inadequate. I know they have like a formal night here, um, I think it's tomorrow, maybe, or the next night, where everyone has to dress up. I've read that you can, um, you can eat in the buffet and just dress normally, but it feels like not many people are going to do that, judging by everyone out there. Um, I'm not going to worry about it too much, but I am going to have a shower before dinner and I'm going to stick a shirt on. It's a small gesture. I'll still be wearing my jeans and my trainers, but maybe it'll make me feel slightly better. Right, I'm going to chill out for a few minutes and um, and then we do a shower review. Right, I am in the shower. Um, it's quite a small space. Don't worry, I have got um, swimming trunks on. I'll show you. It's got them in their bowls, you know, lips and nose. Um, first problem that I've noticed is that I'm about nearly a foot taller than the shower, so it is going to be aimed mainly at my chest. Um, the other issue, oops, it's happened again, uh, is the shower curtain. Now, I'm wearing trunks, so I'm okay, but if I wasn't, they would be copping my buttocks very heavily. In fact, uh, with the wetness of the shower curtain, I'm pretty sure it'd turn translucent and you'd get a, well, a, a cracking view. Let's put it that way. Uh, make a nice picture if you're like an only fans girl or something. I'm not. I don't really want my buttocks being caressed by a shower curtain. Um, on the plus side, it's very warm and it's very powerful. So there's that. Um, it is just a bit low. And yeah, I'm not a big fan of the shower curtain touching me up as a shower. All right, I'm going to get, I'm going to have an actual shower now and wash and stuff. So I'll speak to you later. 
Right, I finished my shower and I'm ready for dinner. Um, despite the generous groping that I received from the shower curtain, that was a very enjoyable shower. Um, I don't know what products they give you, like the shower gel and the, the shampoo that's up in there, but they smell amazing. Um, I feel clean as a bean. I made my kind of token gesture to being slightly smarter. I popped a shirt on. It's still very casual, but at least I'm making the effort. All right. Let's go and grab some dinner. And let's also, actually, let's check what's going on with the waves. Because they, they feel like they're getting rougher. But it might just be because I'm in my cabin. They're definitely worse here. Right, I'm about to head up to the buffet. But I thought I'd come down to the promenade deck and just check on the weather. I do like to keep my eye on it. Let me turn you around so you can see. Oh, it looks wet, doesn't it? You ready for this? Oh, my God. Oh, it's not as cold as it was when we were in England. But... Yeah, that's pretty rough, isn't it? It's kicking it up. He wasn't lying, the captain. It's definitely going to be rough tonight. Oh, it's amazing. I really like this. I can stay out here for a while. Just watching him. Look at the spray. Wow. I'm in the lift on the way up to the buffet now. I tell you what, walking around the ship in these rough seas is a bit of a challenge. It's like um, the floor's bare. It's only it's not. That's not a very good explanation, actually. It's like it's solid, solid ground and solid. Whoop, it's not quite so solid ground. It just dips on you. Almost made me stumble earlier. Right. Yeah, this is the way. This is the way. Let's get to the buffet. Let's get eating. Oh, I'm hungry now. I can't wait for this. All right, I've just ordered the Jack Daniels and Coke. I'm about to tuck in it to some beef bourguignon, mashed potato, uh, nice bit of bread, butter, real butter by the way. That's like 50 p's worth of bloody lure pack in the current climate. Um, yeah, it's all looking good. I'd eat mash every single day if I could. Mash and chips. So important you get good carbohydrates in you. Oh, this is another high moment. It really is. I've got... Um, Butter, self thick, you can leave teeth marks in, which is the ideal situation. Can't do that at home because it costs you bloody much nowadays, real butter. Um, we can go to town on a cruise ship. So, butter, self thick, you can leave teeth marks in. Jack Daniels and Coke, lovely mashed potato, lovely beef, lovely surroundings. Yeah, all bloody good. Hey, oh, right, I'm back in my cabin now. What a wonderful evening. I feel like a medieval king. I've eaten my fill. I went back to the buffet twice. I've drunk my fill. I had several JD and Cokes doubles. Lovely. Um, the only thing missing is a bit of female company. You know what I mean? A medieval king eats his fill, drinks his fill, uh, and then he will take a woman. I'd love to take a woman right now. Um... Not rolling it out, to be honest with you, on the cruise. There's some talent here, there's some single women, and I think it's probably because their husbands have passed away. You know, it tends to be a bit of an older crowd on the cruise ship, but um, that's not really an issue for me, to be honest with you. I've recently hired my upper age limit. You know, you've got to think about it logically. Jennifer Allison is nearly 16. I would definitely shag Jennifer Allison. So, yeah, I'm rolling nothing out. I'm rolling nothing out. We've got 10 days. Hopefully, something can be achieved because. Um, it's been too long. Wow, I just thought I'd come and have a peek out here after dinner. And, um, and the waves have definitely got bigger now, haven't they? Look at that. Proper primal, isn't it? I kind of want to hang over and have a little look at that. Oh, jeez. Christ. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Every so often you just get one big one. What do you mean? Oh. I'm loving it. Christ. Ooh. I tell you what, I think it might be a bit difficult to get some kit tonight. It's so noisy. The ship shuddering when the waves hit it and stuff. The coat hangers rattling away. It's all kicking up a right racket. It really is going to be difficult to fall asleep, I reckon. Hey, oh, but right, it's nearly two o'clock in the morning and I just can't settle. I just can't get to sleep. 
Um, and it's not the stormy weather outside, the roughness or the noises of the ship, although that is a real thing, it is going on. Um, it's that cop that I bought today, it's just playing on my mind, it's really bothering me. I can't believe I paid £16.15 for a cop, it's ridiculous. If I'm perfectly honest with you, when I was in the shop, I misread the label. I thought it was £6.50, and even that I was on the fence with, you know what I mean? It's way too expensive. £16.50 for a plastic cop. I might never sleep again. Good morning to you. If I look really, really tired, um, it's because I am a bit this morning. It wasn't the best night's sleep last night. That was that was a real experience being in this bed. Was that shit rocking around and all the noises going on? It felt a little bit like I was being tossed and thrown around in an energetic game of boom boom. Do you know what I mean? I, one minute I'm lying there and it's okay, my head's on the bed. The next minute I'm being smushed into the bed and then back again and smushed into the bed. It's just very very weird sensation. Um, but I'm awake now. Um, the clocks have changed. Um, and the reason I've woken up now, it's half past eight in the morning, by the way. Uh, the reason I have woken up now is it kind of all stopped. Can you hear that? It's all silent and still. It doesn't even feel like we're moving. And I've opened my curtains um, and there's land outside. Yeah, look at this. So, woke up, realised it was all still, opened the curtains and that's just Spain out there. That's Vigo, I think. I've just got up here and I was looking out. And I was thinking, oh God, that's actually a ship. I'm mistaken land for a ship. But I think there is land hulking back there. Yeah, there is. You probably can't see it. In other news, the weather in Spain is lovely. Look at this. Practically flooded out here. I've just looked on the other side of the ship and it's definitely answered my question um, as to whether there's actually land out there. Uh, probably should have done that in the first place. Look at that. Bloody amazing. I can't believe how wet it is, how much it's raining. I don't know why, but I really didn't expect that. Anyway, let's go and get some breakfast. Oh, buffet. Buffet bloody bacon. There we go. Lovely little breakfirst. Couple of bits of bacon, sausage, fried bread, fried potato, scrambled egg and baked bloody beans. I probably will go back in for seconds and um, I've also got a secret plan. Let me turn you around actually. Yeah, so about 4am last night, um, the cop was still really, really bothering me. £16.50. Uh, it just kept going through my mind. £16.50, £16.50, Plastic cop. Um, the only way I could make peace with myself was to come up with a way to kind of reclaw some of that money. Uh, so each meal time, the next nine meal times, um, I'm going to have an extra item that I don't need, that I'm not hungry, um, but I'm going to eat it just for the hell of it to, uh, to reclaw about a tenner of that money. Um, I did think about just, you know, taking an item and not eating it, but I don't want to waste food, not when there's people starving. So I'm just going to force an extra item down. For example, once I finish this breakfast, I'm going to go in and have a cake. Don't need a cake, but I'm going to eat it for the hell of it. I will reclaim some of that money and at least find some peace, some inner peace. Uh, I finished my breakfast. I just thought I'd come up here and have a little look at Vigo. It's still raining, it's still peeing down, and I do feel a bit sick. I um, I forced a nice bond down as part of my reparations. Um, too early for a nice bond, and I was too full anyway, but we do what we've got to do, I guess, don't we? Yeah, this is Vigo Harbour. You see that there? That, that boat. Anyone from the Isle of Wight, can you tell me, is that a dead ringer for the red jet? To me, it looks like the red jet, but obviously just a different colour. Uh, maybe it's not quite as much like the red jet as I thought. Now I'm looking at it. It's a bit like the red jet. Anyway, yeah, this is Vigo. Right, I'm going to go back inside now because it's been now. Right, I'm back in my cabin now, just let my breakfast go down. Um, I am having a little bit of pooping paranoia. Um, I need to evacuate my bowels. It's time for my biological evacuation. Yet the um, the cabin steward is only one cabin up, and I'm a bit worried that if I go in there and start the process, which isn't a process that can be paused or reversed, um, I might get the knock at the door. So I'm just, yeah, just trying to hold it off at the moment, sitting down. <sighs> Alright, I'm just chilling out up in the, um, the greenhouse area, staring longingly down at the pools. I do want to fill them up at some point. Um, also, looking at the hot tubs, got massive plans to get in one of those. Is it even a holiday if you don't get wet? I'm not quite sure it is, in my eyes anyway. I love a swim, I love a hot tub. So, 
yeah, that's definitely on the kind of agenda for today. Um, in a bit of a contemplative mood, really, I'm feeling I'm feeling super relaxed. I don't know whether I've ever been this relaxed on holiday, and yeah, I'm on holiday. It's a relaxing thing. You should be relaxed when you're on holiday, but normally when I'm away, I've got this kind of gnawing worry within the pit of my stomach, like, oh, I've got to get home, I've got the flight back, they're going to be a nightmare, the luggage and everything. It's just a stressful experience, isn't it? No, when you got to fly home, there is none of that here. Um, I just know in, like, in 10 days, I'm just going to sail back into Southampton, wander off and get the red jet back to the island. It's lovely, really nice. I was saying at the beginning of the vlog, quite often, um, my anus, well, he's he's kind of going like that. You know, I've got a lot going on in my mind, a lot of things that I'm aware of. And when I'm traveling, like I said, it's almost like the wings of a hummingbird, constant motion. Well, now, he's like that, still, still in stoical, you know, stoic, just on a watching brief, which, um, I guess makes sense for a big brown eye, doesn't it? He's, yeah, he's just proper chilled out, no movement at all. It's a lovely, lovely feeling. Yeah, I'm a big fan of cruising, I think. I, I'm gonna leave this vlog here. Um, according to your feedback, you do prefer the more regular, shorter vlogs. Um, obviously, I'm here for another 10 days, so I'm gonna carry on vlogging. Um, I am gonna set myself back challenges and stuff, though. The next video, I think I'll probably um, make it a challenge video and see if I can See if I can eat my cruise fare for the day back. Um, see if I can get in profit. If I can eat enough food that it would have cost more than the 47 quid or whatever it is a night to, to stay on here. I think I can do it. Anyway, yeah, so there'll be more videos. Um, if you enjoyed this one, please do leave a like. If you didn't, please do like, you know, dislike. I always want your honest opinions. And if you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching.